What is going on, Stan fans? The two figures I got for you guys today are two Dragon Ball Z figures made by Jack Specific in the early 2000s. Like mid 2000s, 2005 or something. But uh, they're the, besides Bardock, they're the only two uh, movie characters that got made by Jack Specific. And uh, it's Brawly on the right, and the other one's Bojack on the left. And uh, they're really neat figures. They're five inch, and uh, they're kind of hard to get. Some t well, Bojack's harder to get usually, pretty expensive. But uh, the Brawly, there's kind of multiple variants. This one's a gold hair one. There's another one that has blonde hair instead, and like blonde armor or yellow armor. And uh, there's another the yellow one. They have like a bigger version also. But yeah, I got this one. He's super neat. I really like him. I'm going to show you Brawly first. Um, the detail's pretty great on all the Jack's Pacific Dragon Ball Z figures. And the GT ones. Some of their faces sometimes are a little weird. They, uh, Dragon Ball GT's more so. But they did good with these. And um, the only thing, the only downside is, I'm not sure if it's just mine. I feel like I've seen it on some others. I'm tr I've been trying to look on eBay, but his head got spray painted gold partially. Sorry, I'm a little bit shaky. But um, yeah, that's a little disappointing. Other than that, been really pleased with the head detail. And then if you look right there, his arm was kind of cut weirdly. So it doesn't like bend properly, it's sideways. But other than that, let me sit you back down, especially since I'm so shaky. Other than that, let me show you his movements. See, they bend completely. They can go back like that, spin completely. Bend right there. Um, on him, his legs, you know, both of their legs kind of look the same, their pants. But, uh, and they both move the same, but all, a lot of the others move differently. And, uh, his, I guess, dress moves up and down, whatever you want to call it. Warrior down. But yeah, he's really neat, other than those two little defects. But his necklace does come off, it gets pinned under there, it's kind of hard to put on and off. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. And that's Brawly. Well, let me show you Bojack. He's kind of, to me, the main star. They both have the same, you know, joint movements. His little thing moves also. His little belt. And uh, his arms do move like that. They bend. And you can take this off, which I prefer. Kind of hard to get it back on. I struggled. I couldn't get it on all the way. And I'm not really sure if... Um, there, I think his hands come off for this purpose, but I don't really want to break them just because he's generally pretty expensive to get. So I'll figure out how to put it back on one day if I really want. But yeah, um, just really neat detail on both of them. And the blue form is his first form. He does have a green version. And that one's generally more expensive. Actually, it's real expensive. It's like 200 bucks. Comes with the Gohan also, the uh, Bojack version of Gohan, and just a really neat one. Uh, his hair is real cool too, cool orange hair, and they're just like both cool figures to have for your uh, bad guys in the DBZ world. There's, They kind of didn't make enough bad guys in my opinion, but you know, I feel like I say that a lot, but yeah. These are two of my newest additions to the collection, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. But uh, other than that, that's it. I'll give you another quick look around, and I'm going to wrap this up. Um, we'll be doing some more videos this week on some of the Marvel characters, and maybe if we get some more other characters coming in after that, we'll get some of those. But as always, may the guys be with you. And thanks for watching. And uh, cool gold boots 
with both of them. Have a good one.